Well, I'm happy to introduce our young senior, I think, Dominic Lee, who will talk about what he did with Dr. Kinsky. Good evening, my name is Dominic Lee. I'm an experienced programmer, inventor, and currently a senior student at Castle Riley High School. I first started learning programming when I was eight years old. When I reached high school, I continued my altruistic pursuit of innovation. Having learned eight programming languages, I founded an organization called the Life Beam Technology Club, which is a distinguished programming club at CBHS. As the years passed by, I gained knowledge about robotics and mechatronics by creating my own advanced projects and leading my club to do the same. Last year, I decided to create an intuitive project called the Life Beam Flight Simulator. The Life Beam Flight Simulator is a motion platform that allows anyone to experience being a pilot in an airplane cockpit under the guidance of Dr. Bert Pinsky along with a generous donation of parts by CEO Carl Anderson. I finally finished building the flight simulator six months ago. The motion platform consists of a foundation of PVC tubes which are, which are attached to pneumatic cylinders. The platform is controlled through a complex software program and an Arduino, which sends voltages to a pneumatic cylinder setup. With all these components together, a graphics computer runs a visualization system that allows the pilot to become immersed in virtual reality with an eye-opening flight simulation experience. Without further ado, I would like to show you this video demonstrating the use of the flight simulator. All right, we have the flight simulator fully working and fully functional. Hey, Dr. Pinsky, we're here with the working flight simulator. The LifeBeam Flight Simulator is a full setup of equipment that runs simultaneously and collaboratively. The platform is mainly manipulated by pressurized pneumatic cylinders which are controlled through an Arduino microcontroller and other amplification circuits. By writing a complex C software program, we can extract and parse the positioning data from the pilot or user's input. With this information, the user is able to experience the realistic movement and visualizations accordingly, similar to being in an actual airplane cockpit. As we can see, innovation plays an important role in education. Pursuing innovation requires your creativity and perseverance. The flight simulator is just an example of what I have done to increment my innovative skills to a new potential. Thank you for your time.
think that's pretty terrific of a as a demonstration of engineering skills and computing, and it's a fantastic to see this kind of thing take place here. The only thing that disappointed me was I didn't see Dr. Pinsky flying in the flight simulator. <laughs> <laughs> Are you going to do that? At any rate, the, one other thing that the Foundation has been, do, has been doing is, in addition to sponsoring these kinds of research projects, is for the students who complete those, we want to give them an award, which we call the Foundation Prize, in whatever the discipline is. We gave two at the last lecture. We want to give one tonight. So I'd like to say congratulations to Dominic on being the third recipient of the Foundation, Foundation Prize, this time in engineering. So thanks very much for that, and we're going to move on to the main talk now, and our main speaker will be introduced by Dr. Yeager.